God bless everyone joining at this time. This is Cameroon Prophecy, the 9th of February, 2024. God's word is coming to pass in Cameroon. Write it down. God's word is coming to pass. If you're joining, please do the needful, like and share this video. Observe these messages closely. God's word is coming to pass in the nation of Cameroon. We have seen in recent times the confirmations of God's word. And God is still saying something. I have this conviction that the will of God for Cameroon will come to pass. God is not man. Number one, take note of the 12th, the 12th of February, 2024. Take note of the 12th, the significance of the 12th of February. The, the word the Lord ministered to me is that there is a release. Okay, there's a press release. There's a document signature on the 12th. Take note on the 12th to the 14th. The 12th to the 14th of February, there's a document that has been signed. What is the relevance of this document? The relevance of this document is informing the general public of a decision. God's word is coming to pass. God says when we see these things, we should know that he is in control. Number two, I saw the demise of a governor. And the Lord says this governor, he has won this governor on several occasions, but the enemy has planned to take the life of this governor. But God says he's going to show this governor mercy. This is a governor from the Northwest. I saw an attack, a very terrible attack, a very terrible attack. My prayers are with him and his family that the will of God be done for him. But what I saw was not very good. We keep praying and let us do the best we can to pray for the governor of the Northwest. I saw an attack. Let's pray. His family, his life, our prayers are with him. I'm doing the best I can to pray that the Lord will preserve him. But what I saw was not good. God is not man. Number three, I saw by the help of the Holy Spirit good news. And the good news I saw was a decision for the end of the Anglophone crisis. And as many of you will think, that uh, their will is God's will. No, God's will will always be his will. God is not man. There is a decision for the end of the crisis, and this decision is going to be on the table of dialogue. The Lord said it's happening not long from now, and we are going to see it. There is water, okay? There's a water invasion coming, but God says it's going to help the people of the Southwest. There's a water invasion and this water invasion is going to cause the collapse of, you know, mass, land mass, land mass, you know, landslide. And people will be wondering what is the cause of that. Is the, cause, the cause of that is water. It's going to result to mass, you know, landslide, mass. And those who are close to hills, please, they should be very careful, particularly in the southwest region of Cameroon. The Lord is doing something amazing. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass. I saw, as the Lord will permit, the demise of a fetish priest. This is in the northwest region, northwest. The demise of a witch doctor, more of like a fetish priest. The Lord says, uh, he has been warning this witch doctor, but the witch doctor does not want to listen. It's a fetish priest, a traditional priest. God says he's the one taking this fetish priest in few days. When you see it, you should know that God is not man. The reason for that is because the fetish priest has been consulted to carry out some practices which will fail. God, God says he has been warning this, this native doctor, he does not want to listen. But the time of this native doctor is up. This native doctor has done his own, but God is not man. Okay. The next, the Lord ministered to me is the National Assembly. Let National Assembly not worry. Let them not worry. From the twentieth, from the twentieth of February, two thousand and twenty-four, let the National Assembly not worry. Let them not worry. It's a it's a brief tears, but God will help the National Assembly. But there is mourning. Okay, the mourning I saw. Can we pray? Prayer is what we do. Many people think that when prophecies are given, we wait and wish people evil. No, I don't wish for people evil. I pray for people and I pray for those God leads me to pray for but I cannot stop the will of God I can only intercede but my prayers has always been with people that God has put in authority God is the one that puts people in authority God is not the author of confusion so our prayers are with the National Assembly but what I saw was mourning 
But let us observe the 20th, 20th of February 2024. From the 20th, from the 20th, okay? I saw you put 18, 19, 20th, 18, 19, 20th upward. Because this is an underground thing. But the morning, is it a health issue? I don't know, but our prayers are with National Assembly. Hmm. Our prayers are with National Assembly. The next thing the Lord ministered to me was an attack that has been organized for this weekend. Let it not be carried out. I saw a group of men dressed in a certain way. I don't know them, but they have planned to invade the particular place and to burn it down this weekend. Let them not do it. These people are planning to carry out such an activity. I saw them. They were dressed in a such a way that people will think that they are normal people, but they are not normal people. The assignment is to inflict pain. This is the end of this week, Sunday, breaking Monday. Saturday, Sunday, breaking Monday, end of this week. Please let these people who are planning, write these things down. Share this live broadcast, share these messages. Let these people who are planning to burn down houses, stop it. Let them stop it. God's word has come to us. Let them stop it. Because if they don't stop it, the worst, they will see the worst. These people who have organized what is their aim? What will be their gain? When you find me bring messages like that is to warn people, alert people. You might be tempted to think, oh, why is the prophet not saying good things? Good things is God's things. There's a difference between saying what is good and saying what is of God. I'm not here to tell us what is good. I'm here to tell us what is of God. My assignment is to bring the word of God, not to bring what is good to us, but what is of God. Here, we are not here to get my opinion. My opinion does not count what is God saying. What God is saying is what is more important, not what I'm saying. Prophecy confirmation is not in my ability. When you see prophecies come to pass, it's not me. I don't make prophecy come to pass. If God is, in his, if God is the one saying it, he will do it. So you, there's no man that can make it come to pass without God. God is God and God is not man. But please observe this. God's word is coming to pass. You will see these things. Oh, I don't believe, no problem, but you will see, okay? You will see, okay? You will see. I saw, let people who go to Riverside be careful. Waterside, they should be careful. I saw water carrying people. Let those who are around water, who walk in water, who walk in water, you know, sheep, canoe, let them be careful. I saw water carrying people, okay? Let those who walk water you travel water water travel i'm not saying you should not travel but be careful okay i saw water taking people a few days from now let us pray that the lord will help uh, the lord will help the waters of cameroon and i saw in the entertainment industry you know when i tell us what this is what god is saying you see it come to pass we pray there are prophecies we pray and we change according to god's mercy and there are some god says this one is not changing because it is, it is his will. Sometimes many people think that God refused to redeem, but the question is, what is God redeeming? God could be redeeming the faith of the people, not necessarily the situation. When God wants people to fear him, he allows certain things to happen because that's the only way people fear God. Some people fear God only when they see certain things. So God's word is coming to pass. In the entertainment industry, the Lord showed me the demise of an entertainer, okay? One of the finest we have in Cameroon. It's entertainer, entertainment industry, but there's exit. What is this? this the issue surrounding the exit of this entertainer, it's going to raise a lot of alarm, okay? You will raise alarm of jealousy. You, it, the jealousy will be so loud. Is it the will of God? It's not the will of God. What is it about? It is a jealousy and envy, okay? But you see, there's so much envy among people. What can we do? Let if your entertainment industry be careful. What I saw coming few days is going to raise alarm and increase awareness of jealousy. But we pray for entertainment industry. Okay, we pray for this entertainment. I saw it. You say what is comedy? What is music? But you see it. Our prayers are with the entertainment industry. But this is coming. Okay, the next still entertainment industry. There's uh, a, a a woman who is. Uh, uh, fair, you know, it's a fair woman, a little bit chubby. I saw her, but I will not call the name. Uh, this woman has been marked, okay? The woman is fair, 
fair complexion, a little bit chubby, popular, but you will see the name. Okay? I'm not going to call the name, but you will see B, write B in court. Who is this woman? What is her position? In, what is her position? But a group of women have organized to pull this woman down. There's poison. There's poison and it will be so terrible. There's poison, there's sad news coming to this woman. When I say poison, this is witchcraft. You know, witchcraft is not limited by distance, but our prayers are with this, you know, entertainment industry, but this is artist. We pray that the Lord will preserve this person. Okay? It's not going to be the best of news. God is helping us this season. We pray for the people of Tiko. I saw the people of Tiko, Tiko Southwest region. I saw the people of Tiko. Let the people of Tiko not worry, but this is a street, okay? This is a street with houses, but the event on that street is not good, okay? But this is a, a long street. You find a long street, but it's a building. God says you, you will help the people of that street in Tiko, Okay, but because there's going to be like a wind, a wind, a certain wind will blow, blow around that area with houses, and some houses will be faulty, because this is going to intervene. He's going to sustain that there will be no loss of life, but a wind will blow there. In the people of Tiko, the wind will blow because this will support. You will see the casualty because this will intervene for the people of the people of Tiko. Okay, Saturday there's you know this bus this Saturday that is coming. There's God is helping our highway, okay? Thursday and Thursday, Friday, God is helping. This weekend, God is helping the highway. The highway, there's blood because this is helping the highway. He's helping the highway. There's accident coming this weekend. Thursday, take note of Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This weekend, there's Sunday, there's this week, there's blood on the highway. God says he will intervene. God says he will intervene, okay? You will see it, but God says he will go ahead and intervene. God says he will intervene, okay? God is not man. God's word is coming to pass. The best we can do is to pray, okay? The best we can do is to pray. The best we can do is to pray. I am doing the best I can as a man helped by God. I, I can, as, I can, as a man helped by God. Let's pray for Biamansi, okay? Let's pray for Biamansi. There is fire coming to Biamansi Yaoundé. Okay, let the people of Yamasi be alert. You know, it's, it's electrical blast, but let us pray for the community of people of Yamasi. Let them be careful with the way they go about electrical activity. Okay, let's let the Lord preserve the people of Yamasi. The word of the Lord has gone ahead, and God is not man. We pray for the people of Yamasi, Yawunde. Okay, okay, Yawunde. Mm, yeah, wouldn't they? So prayers are made, but what I saw is a community crisis and people running helter scatter. Mm. People running helter scatter, but we pray that the Lord will help. Okay, there's an exit of a political person, mm. right? J, okay, right? J, mm. J, right? F, mm. okay. But there's a political exit. Just take note of that. JF put in court. J court F in court. Mm. But we pray that the Lord will have his way. But this is God's will. God says he's the one taking this person. You know, God is not man. But the will of God is greater than our will. But let us pray earnestly for, for this. But it's coming a few days from now. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You will see it. Yes, it's coming. You're going to see it. It's coming. You're going to see it. It's coming. You'll see it. You. It's coming very strong. It's coming very strong. Someone escaped from prison. Mm, okay, there's prison escape. They call it prison break, but a prison break is happening in few days. It's, I saw a prison attack in Cameroon. Let those who are in prison, taking care of prison, be alert. I saw a prison break. Okay, those who are security for prison take care, but a prison invasion, a prison invasion. But what happened? Where are inmates? They cannot find prisoner. Where, is, where are prisoner? They cannot find prisoner and raise alarm. But it is coming, okay? God's word is coming to pass. There's, uh, there's a document, okay? There's a document, right? 23rd, 23rd, right? 23rd, 
Yes, it's not far from now, right? 23rd. There's a document I saw. And on this document I saw it's written 23rd. But the, the inception of the document is 22nd. But you see publicity, you see 23rd. But what is this document about? It's, um, it's a document of, you know, security, okay? Security alert. It's a document of security alert. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass. You will see these things. God's word, I repeat, God's word is coming to pass. I saw the Lord helping children. The Lord says pray for children in school. Okay? Pray for children, children in school. There's calamity coming for children in school. The Lord says pray for children. Let us pray for our children we send to school, students. But prayers should be made. Prayers should be made for students. Okay? Prayers should be made for students in school. What is happening around school? School building. But it's not the best of news. And then there's a lot of noise about the event. Let us pray for lives of students be preserved. Okay? Lives of students be preserved. Let's pray for Malingo. Okay? Malingo Boya. Those who are, you are, you are using the road, plying that road of Malingo. Okay? Please be careful. There's Python. Okay? There's Python. Those who are using roads. There's an accident happening in Malingo in a few days. When the accident happened, you will see one, two, three. You know, it's a connecting road. One, two, three. Connecting road. But pray for Malingo. When you find that accident, it, the concern is not the accident, it's the serpent. Okay? Because when the accident will happen, you will find three people. Three people, I will describe them, they will be dressed in a certain way, black and red. But when the accident happens, you should easily spot, you will see it. These people will come there. The concern is not the accident, the concern is what these people will be coming to do. These are people who are into ritual. But you will find the accident, they will come there, and the reason they come there is to collect the spirit of people. But when the accident happens, people should be on high alert. Don't be focused on the accident. Be focused on the, the people who are coming to do whatever they have to do. God says their plan will fail. Okay? But these are, these are terrible people. God says he, their plan will fail. Okay? Their plan will fail. Someone say, man of God, why are you bringing these messages out? If I don't bring it, it will still happen. But I'm telling us prevention. The ones that have happened without prophecy, who brought them? Okay, I'm giving us alert. Alert is for prevention. So people can be safe. We are not going to be ignorant of what the devil is doing. Okay, prophecy is to give us guidance. What to do and what not to do. But the word, the word of the Lord is coming to pass. Okay, still for Boya. There is a woman that is going to pass away in Bokwango. Okay, there's a woman, a certain woman who is going to pass away in Bokwango. When in a few days from now, when the woman passes away, the family should not be worried. Okay, the family should not be worried because it's going to raise a lot of confusion. That there should be no suspicion because the death of that woman will raise suspicion, and the case, if case not taken, will go to court because witchcraft will be involved in it. But this is Bokwango. People of Bokwango Boya, yeah, it's coming. A few days from now, it will divide the family. But let the family calm down. What, what, what do I mean? What do I mean by calm down? Let them take it easy. God says he's in control. They should not worry. God says he's in control. He's going to help that family in Bokwango. It's happening in a few days. Bokwango. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass. There is the house of someone who has been causing confusion like destroying and destroying people's destiny in in Munya. Okay? Yes, this 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 person the person has been causing confusion Munya and the person has this is Mutengene as well. But what is the person's uh, mission? Is to destroy people in witchcraft. God says he will send fire in that house a few days from now. When you see the fire, don't ask yourself what happened. The fire the fire will burn but let people not be inside. When you take note of Mutenge and Munya, there is, God says he's the one re reacting. When the house begins to burn, you'll be wondering, what happened? Is it a coincidence? God is not man. God says he has been warning this person, stop practicing witchcraft. Stop practicing wizardry. Stop practicing the demonic activity. The person will not hear. But God says he's the one putting that fire there for warning. 
Okay, when the thing happened, oh, what happened? What happened? People should not go and fight the person. No, it's just a sign. Okay, it's just a sign. They should not go and fight the person, fight the person. Because is giving the person a sign. This message is very sensitive. But don't go and fight somebody. Okay, I've not called anybody's name, but when you find it, don't fight. Just, you know, hold your peace and say, okay, let God be true in everything we do. God's word is coming to pass. God's word is coming to pass in the nation of Cameroon. The month of June 2024 is going to be good. The month of June will be good in Cameroon. The month of June, right? June, June will be good. They say, oh, we, we have no peace, but June will be good. I've seen the future. June will be good. June will be good. June will be good. June will be good. Let's pray for this presidential candidate, for him to calm down. You know, presidential candidate, calm down. This presidential candidate, candidate who went for election, calm down. Don't join this group. There's a group, a presidential candidate that wants to join. And this is a group that will cause unrest in the nation of Cameroon. This presidential candidate has already been informed about the issue of the unrest. Please, presidential candidate, don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. Calm down. Calm down. God, I should tell you to calm down. Hmm. When I say calm down, it's for the future. Okay? But if you go ahead, it will not be easy. You will see it. You can only warn people. You cannot stop people. I can tell you, tell you, don't travel. If you say you must travel, okay, you face whatever happened to you. If I say, God says don't travel, you say you must travel. I cannot stop you. But I can only tell you, this is what is going to happen. Yes. Okay, let's pray for this fun. You know, there's a fun. They call, it's a fun. I will not, the fun's name begins with C. Pray for fun. Fun, the name of the fun begins with C. Fun, this fun is a Northwest fun. But the phone is going to cry. The family of the phone will be crying. The phone family will cry. The phone, the phone name begins with C. You saw what God, God said about the deal. And God gave us the initials of the name. You saw what happened. That was last year. God says it will happen. The person will be attacked. You saw what happened. And the person was kidnapped. I cannot glory in that. But when things like this happen, it's for people to be alert. It happened. The prophet was giving months ahead. And people said whatever they had to say, insult me. I'm not angry when people insult me. But you cannot stop what God is doing. You can only insult me. You can probably you can insult me, but you can't stop what God is doing. You can't stop God. What God wants to do, he's going to do it. Whether you believe in me, you don't believe in me. Whether you insult me, you don't insult me. What God wants to do in Cameroon, he will still do it. I am not the one doing it. God is the one doing it. Okay? So, I wish I had more time, but God permit me to... God permit me to, to come again. But this is Cameroon prophecy. Observe these things closely. God's word is coming to pass in the nation of Cameroon. If you are joining, do the best you can to follow this page. Prophetic words with Prophet Oracle Henbert. And follow this page online. Invite others to follow. Stay current. God's word is coming to pass. Do the best you can to share this live broadcast to all your groups and all those you care about. God's word is coming to pass in the nation of Cameroon. God bless Cameroon. Amen.